All right, hello. I hope you're all doing well. Uh, I'd like to say thank you for your donations. These are brought to you by your brothers and your sisters, and even some of the Gentiles. We are in the Brenton Septuagint. We are on Genesis chapter 10 and verse 17. It is the Hivite in the King James Version, and when we go to the Brenton Septuagint, it is the Evite, Evite, and that is what we're looking at today. All right, ladies and gentlemen, buckle your seats, and we are beginning. Now, when we type in Evite people, we get a lot of goofy stuff about emails and how to electronically invite people. Okay, so as we are going to go over to the etymology now, um. When we go to Hivite, the King James left for us, uh, Hivite leads us to, uh, Hivite's descendants of Canaan as in Genesis 10, uh, 10 and 17. Hey, that's where we're at. When we go through this, a uh, couple of things come up. Uh, the uh, phrase Shiva comes up, uh, meaning tent dweller. Now, this word is closer to a word we're going to end with uh, down here, okay? So, uh, you know, now, when we go through this, it says kiva or chiva right here, meaning snake related to the word. Oaha in Gilal, oh, excuse me, Gilali, <laughs> Galilee, excuse me, meaning serpent, since they sniffed the ground like snakes looking for fertile land. There appears uh, to be a possible connection or confusion between the Hivites and the Horites in Genesis 36 and 2. A Hivite named Zibion is also described in Genesis 36, a Horite. So a Hivite is described as a Horite. Others claim that the confusion is a result of scribal error. Both Hivites and Horites differ in spelling by one letter of roughly similar shape, or they could refer to two different individuals. Scholars have sought the identity of the Hivites with the Greek Achaeans. Not going to find them there. The Hurrians, one of the most important peoples uh, in the ancient Near East. Mm, maybe you're going to see them there, maybe not. Or settlers who went to Sechem and other locations from Silic Silica, a region in Asia Minor, which is called the, excuse me, Kua in the Bible Kings. Uh, 1 Kings 10 and 28, UE in cuneiform sources. Locations, uh, especially, I know the end of this, so I know the end of this meaning where I, over here, what we're going to end with over here. So I'm just scrolling through here to see if I see any of that stuff uh, dealing with it, because Basically, you know, we, we, we know the outcome. So there you have the Hivites. Uh, I cannot remember right now how we get to the next part. But uh, Havilah comes up. So Havilah comes up in Havilah, the small town in the United States. Okay. Havilah is Hebrew, means circular. Also for Evelas. Now remember, we're looking for the Evite. All right. Uh, so the Evelas is what, or the Eveleth is what we're looking for. It refers to both the land and the people in several books of the Bible. Now, this deals with Havilah, finding Havilah to find the Evelas or the Evelah. All right, so when we scroll down, 
it's going to give it away for us. Expen explains that uh, Havilah is, excuse me, I'm looking for the place where it said it, it was a desert. Uh, but anyway, it, it's irrelevant. Uh, it states that uh, such a land in the Arabian desert is mentioned. So we have Arabian shown once as, as the location. And then it says the region in Genesis is usually associated with the Arabian Peninsula or Northwest Yemen. So then that's our two, two witnesses, but the two witnesses come from one source. Now, here we have where is the land of Havilah, and then we have it's Saudi Arabia and Yemen. All right, so yeah, I see California, but that has nothing to do with this. Again, we're chasing Evelis, okay, or Evil Leth. Now, the Jewish Encyclopedia, the You Wish. All right, these are the Ashkenazi. For the people that call themselves the Ashkenazi today, they have stolen Hebrew books that have been altered as well. They reveal that Havala is the name of a district or districts in Arabia. All right, so now we have two different witnesses showing us that Havala is actually dealing with. Uh, Arabia. Now, can't for the life of me. It doesn't really matter. I got Ivalis right here on screen. Um, I know it doesn't say Evite, but it's telling you right here that it's dealing with uh, the same people that they are mentioned in Genesis chapter 10. Um, that, that's where we're at in Genesis chapter 10. Um, It'll pop up. Everything always does. All right. So, oh, that's because we're on the fourth page. Let's go back to the beginning here. I'll just hit search. Oh, there we go. Hevela. There we go. And then Eva. So that came up first. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. All right. Oh, it doesn't matter. We're going to keep on moving anyway. Okay, so. So we have two different things uh, showing that Havilah deals with the district in Arabia. So Havilah, um, man, I must, have, I must have closed something out because Havilah also showed this word, Hiluya, Cham. <laughs> I typed that in. I typed in Cham. Um to see what comes up as champ. Uh, and we get some interesting um, things. This is one of the names for the Hivites as well. And this is, uh, man, I can't remember. Now, Havala, uh, for a location, it's Havala, Iran. Now, I'm not Middle East guy, so I don't know how close Iran is to just the Arabian desert or the Arabian districts, you know, but um, this is pretty much showing it's the same. Cham Salem district, right? All right, Jerusalem, Cham Salem, right? Like, it's, I'm not saying Cham Salem is Jerusalem. I'm just showing you the idea of the mimic. Now, you must keep in mind, Jerusalem was in the hands of the Chamites. David takes it from them. Uh, when we look up, uh, have a laugh. It just takes us right back to Havila, right? Like Bob Vila, Bob Havila, right? So everything takes us back to Havila. Uh, These pages went inactive. Let me click on them all. I'll quick get them all active. Let me see this one. This is how we do it. Uh, Trivi. 
All right, so we got Chivy up on screen, and Chivy gives us Kiwi, and I think Kiwi is what gave us, because I had this page all the way down here. I'm not sure how we got all these different names for these people, though, but all these different names go right back to uh, Havila. You know, it's also Romanized as Havila. Havila. Right? So, again, no matter how you cut it, this, this is. This is them. Um, all right, so. Then I typed in a villa of people. Well, yeah, but they're Arab people, but nothing really comes up. Um, but here's, it's just simple. When we're back here under Hivite, see the Chava right there? The snake people. Now that leads us right back here. Um, sorry, to Havia or Havila, excuse me. When we're in Havila, it's telling us, um, not that one. This is the Arab Peninsula and Yemen. It's telling us this is the Arab Desert. Excuse me. It's telling us this is a district or districts in Arabia. Arabia Arab, right? So when you do Arabian people and go to images, this is what you're getting. All right, do you notice something? That's gay. You notice something? Now let's go to Yemen people, and what do the Yemen people have in common with them? Come on, Google. So there's 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 a slave group in there, huh? Right? So the Chivi villagers, Canaanite tribe, Hivite. Man, for the life of me, I can't remember how I got I must have got lucky. All right, so you deal with the Saudis, the Shivi, the Saudis, right? The Saudi Arabians, right? This is what it deals with. They deal with Saudi Arabians are a nation, excuse me, an ethnic group native to Saudi Arabia that share a common Saudi culture and speak one of the national languages of Saudi Arabia including the most numerously the Pensular Arabian Peninsula, the Pensular Arabic language and accent as a mother tongue. According to 2010 estimate, population of Saudi Arabia is about 29 million. The Saudi speak Peninsular Arabic or Southern Arabic variety. Saudi Arabia is a state governed by absolute monarchy, monarchy with the king as the head of its state. All right, so you can go into this if you want. You know, deals with Islam. Sorry, I didn't mean to click that. You know, and uh, they say when Muhammad was dying, he said, uh, make this place, uh, uh, was it a place of one religion? So they, they claim they kicked the Christians and the, the Jews out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's all we got for this, but we got them.